I don't know what just happened there, but as I was saying, to summarize these videos, um, you don't have to be afraid. I'm here to show you, and I'm here, I'm here to prove that you don't have to be afraid to actually use and invest in a classic car. Uh, today, most cars are disposable. You use people just use their cars until they're damaged, and they go to the junkyard, and they move on to the next car. When you buy a classic car, you buy an investment. It's a, it's, a, it's a vehicle that will later on return the money you've invested in it. It, it, it will return you more money. Whereas modern cars depreciate in value and they are disposable. That's just the way things are. It's a different mentality for most people today. But uh, I guess I've covered pretty much all aspects there are to actually driving. What it's like to drive one of these classic cars. Um, I really like to do a test one day where um, I I get a person, same person, uh, blindfolded and drive two different modern uh, to drive two different cars. One a classic, one a modern car. And they'll tell me the difference between the similar vehicles. And once again, it has to be similar vehicles. You can't put a V8 against an economy car. But. Um, in terms of handling, in terms of reliability, uh, they're all advantages, all points for classic cars. Um, I'd finally like to recommend if you're into actually driving a classic car, uh, Studebaker, British vehicle, uh, any British vehicle, uh, Rambler American, Jeeps, some diesel Mercedes, very good there. Uh, diesel Mercedes, once again, classic car. Stay away from any modern diesel car, my reference any modern car. You know, that's just you know, that's just kind of obvious. Um, uh, Studbaker, I said that. Uh, Hawk, Studbaker Hawk, Studbaker Lark. Um, what else? What else? MGB, that's Corvair, very good vehicle. Uh, maybe some early Mustangs if you can get one. Like I said, they, they used to come with smaller engines, inline six engines. A Ford Falcon, a very, very, very good vehicle there. Still used in many countries today. Uh, good fuel efficiency, plenty of parts available. Ford uh, was one of the, uh, uh, had one of some of the cars most mass produced in history. Uh, Model A's, it's a great car to have. Five million of them were made, so parts of them are still uh, readily available, even if you need an entire engine, an entire transmission. Um, what else? Yeah, some Nash cars, very fuel efficient as well. Stud Baker, um, some British vehicles, some French vehicles, just Citroën. Um, uh, what's again, good good vehicles. Uh, they're still they're not tiny vehicles like the Fiat 500. And they're not huge. They're, they're, for me, they're the perfect daily driving candidates. They're cars that are great for driving. Um, a few Dodge vehicles, some Chrysler vehicles, very good for that as well. Um, there's a there's there's a whole list. There's there there are lots of different cars available that are reliable, easy to maintain. They're not rare. You want to stay away from rare vehicles, right? And they're decent on fuel. Uh, very decent on economy. Um, I feel like I'm still missing one important car. I'm still forgetting to mention it. Corvair, yes, I mentioned that one. Um, of course, the Beetle. The Beetle, of course. Uh, there's lots of other German cars that you've probably never heard of, even some Toyota vehicles, which you could purchase uh, from other countries, not from North America, but parts for them. Uh, like I said, are a bit more rare. And once again, you have to look around, and see what's more common. You have to talk to people, do some research, find out what which vehicles are more common and uh, more uh, relevant to your area. So I hope this this helps uh, people out there that are wondering uh, why why the hell is this guy driving one of these cars? And there's lots. By the way, I'm not the only one. There are many other people that actually drive these cars. Um, just Obviously, we're not huge in number, but um, there's a lot of happy uh, classic car owners out there. 
And if you do happen to find people that criticize these cars, you have to ask them why, and I can guarantee you that at the end, it, it is their own fault. Uh, if you maintain these vehicles, they will last you a long time. And there are lots of different options. You can get whatever you want um, from whatever you can choose. There's an infinite number of choices. You can get whatever you want from one of these cars. You can get speed, you can get reliability, you can get uh, fuel economy, you can get anything you want from these cars. So once again, I hope this helps people and uh, eliminates some of the confusion and misconceptions and lies that are out there. Thanks for watching.